character will be back. <laughs> <laughs> and, and a patch. Okay, who up? Uh, wait, who is Zod? Captain Zod. Zod, Captain Zod. Your boss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. He's like, bro, I saw it. I saw it. I, not my thing. Sure you are. It's, it's in your size, <laughs> boss. <laughs> <laughs> I went through the trouble to figure out what size you shirt, t-shirt you wear. Headline next <laughs> week. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Zod seen wearing a way too small band t-shirt. Um, while they're trying to play around with finding um, our, our friend and savior, uh, Skeleton Man. Um, he has a name. Can I, can I, can I also skeleton. ask, um, you know, any of the residents here of Baldur's Gate, being uh, Jordan and Ooh. Rhea and other one. Mm-hmm. Um, Jordan. I keep forgetting that. Never heard of him. Sorry, Ezra. You guys are all residents up here or live here or work here, right? Um, For the most part, Where's yeah. the best damn weaponsmith around? Oh, just Gorzak. Just Gorzak. Well, I, was, here. I would want to t- talk with a weaponsmith, too, so I don't know if we can deal with the go- Merly business and then find the weaponsmith. Yeah. I would like to do that. Yeah. We, we, could cover t- we could cover more ground by splitting up. Oh, you you must probably go yourself. Well, we'll let Zodge handle the. I'll talk with Zodge. Yeah, yeah. He'll handle the transfer and get that all taken care of. What did you want um, done at the blacksmith? Oh, I want to see if they can. It to... I want to see if they can fix that dagger. Oh yeah, yeah. Um. Well. Um. Hey, Tyrone, roll me a d twenty and tell me what oh, the roll shit. is. <laughs> <laughs> all right awesome um and you kind of have a muscle spasm mm-hmm. and um accidentally cast mending which fixes the dagger sweet um, nice and if you don't already have mending that can be one of the spells you could learn if you wanted to um I have a chance for it. Okay. So, yeah, it just fires off. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you need that fixed? Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, yeah, Jack, did anyone else have any sort of, like, blacksmith, weaponsmithing, any sort of shop stuff? Because while... I, I would like to find the most competent potion maker I have heard of in this town. Okay. Yep, you can yep, you can find a potion maker. Should we divvy up all our gold and stuff? So there we, are one, I mean, two, three, four, five? Oh yeah. Yep. I don't know if we should do that before we start. We should. <laughs> we should. We're just gonna be Gorzak, well, Gorzak does his stuff. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, to begin with, we each receive 60 gold. Um, each one of us have taken one Electrum ingot, uh, six Electrum ingots. Each one is, again, worth 60 gold. So another 60. Wait, each one's worth 60? Each one's worth 10. Each worth 10, oh, okay, and we each you. are able to carry six of them. Okay. Um, there are 20 Azurite gemstones with Tiamat runes. I don't know if those translate to gold or anything. Um, we also each receive... About 30-ish platinum. Um, 40 platinum. They are the Azerite gemstones are worth ten gold pieces each. And those, what are those with Tiamat? Um, they the Azerite. Have, uh, yeah, Azerite gemstones. They also have um, the runes that are indicative of this item. On um, the stolen. gemstone. Yeah. Yeah. Of I'm gonna keep one. Stolen. I want to keep one just as a gemstone. Go to my Tiamat collection. I have. <laughs> uh, experiment. I'd like to take ten of them and all. Cast that summon beast spell again and try to 
and train as much on the light as I can. But I'll give that creature ten of those electrums to try to send them back to the celestial realm. Like, I don't know if it'll work or not, but I would like them to take that with them. Take what? Take ten of those Azurite gemstones with them back to the celestial realm. Okay, so you're going to throw them into an asteroid. I'll keep ten of them with me for protection, but at least separating ten of them so you would, with this creature. All right, you are taking the gemstones. I I was uh, did we get uh, twenty were, of them each? There there were twenty all told. Oh, twenty yeah. total. I'm sorry. How yeah. many each? I'm I would take I half of whatever of mine. You guys would each get four. Yeah. Okay, so two to that uh, creature. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. How much are they worth? Ten gold points apiece. Yep. I'll hold on to two and I'll give the creature two. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, so uh, divvied up. That is all of it. Um, I would like to find a potion maker. Oh. I, I, I am depleted. All right. And as, um, as you guys get ready to <coughs> go and do your own things in the city, um, Ballister tells you, that he will be waiting at the unwavering lass in and uh, and um, that he will be here for 24 no I lie go back 10 seconds um, he tells you he's going to be waiting at at his house um, out in uh, little Kalimshan just outside of Baldur's Gate. Um, Ballester tells you he will be waiting there for 24 hours. Um, and if you'd like to meet with him and travel to Candlekeep together, he will be leaving. He will be leaving tomorrow around this time. And he, get, and he gives you a description. You'll uh, Gorzak knows pretty much which house it is. So. Sorry guys, I think I'm just gonna lounge in my villa for the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hang out with Merle. Oh, oh, yeah. you us. <laughs> We're gonna have like a buddy comedy. Like one of those like college. We're just gonna have parties, you know. <laughs> That's gonna be my story, guys. <laughs> I mean, if you guys wanna introduce Still. new characters. Still. If you guys wanna introduce new characters, uh, I mean, oh, no. <laughs> he dreams of this. This is how he will someday spend his day. Me and Merle at the swimming pool, hmm? checking out shit. <laughs> yeah, you wanted to sunglasses. Um, <laughs> find some potions. Um, so you find a potion maker in the city. Um, they seem to be pretty reputable. Um, and okay, you, it's pretty easy as a potion maker to be reputable. <laughs> If you made something bad, they're not coming back. They're probably dead. <laughs> well, and there's some skeevy, skeevy potion mo- potion makers in town. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm just <laughs> I mean, as a DM, is is that not what you want from a potion maker? Though? <laughs> <laughs> um, you can, can get indeed. those. You can get those cheap ass potions down in the the grotto. <laughs> But yeah, um, you find a potion maker. Um, I'm looking up prices now. Mm, you mean ye old catalog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a whole potion I section. I would much rather use. Absolutely. Yeah, you'd find, you'd find bushes of And it gives you, so it gives you, since they're reputable, it'd them. probably be the higher cost on that, because it gives you like... A little uh, while, yeah. It's different. cultivated fairy garden in the villa. <laughs> Great. Could we turn it into wine eventually? You've already got some. Oh, I'll just put berry and like, oh, can We're gonna we make, make some good berry, berry wine? wine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you can totally put some of your, uh, some of your mycelium into the soil to help them grow better. <laughs> help break down the mm. nutrients that they need best. <laughs> we'll, Definitely we'll have keeps your section. away pests. <laughs> <laughs> it will keep away pests. Um. Uh, I have hit points to spread between people that need healing. That's... 
Um, I, I would like to um, purchase some some um, healing potions, and I would just like like them at a cheap cost, because <laughs> I have just helped save this. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, bargaining. Uh, um, <laughs> what would that mean? <laughs> Shepherd, Wouldn't awesome. that be persuasion? <laughs> persuasion, <laughs> maybe? Like a... um, so you walk in to this potion maker's shop, yeah. and you see a little, you see a small little goblin that's kind of hunched over and has um, a, a monocle on that seems to be magnified, um, and he's working on crafting something on his alchemical table and he he looks up as as you're saying that um and roll me a persuasion 14 all right um he says how you did it you just (laughs) saved the city and how did you do that young elf (laughs) I, I, me and my friends have just um, thwarted Thalamra Van Thamper's mm. sacking of this entire town. Sacking? Yes. yes sacking? Yes. She was going to sink it just as she had done Altara with, with her friends. Oh, oh, I see, Elf. When you said sacking, I thought you meant that she meant to put this city into a sack. And that was terrifying. <laughs> it, that is also a very terrifying concept. What do you say she meant to sink the city? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Gorzak I mean, city... walks into the shop because I was totally going to go potion shop. <laughs> <laughs> I say, oh, Etrian, my friend who helped me save the world. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We did. We saved some of the world yes. together. And I... We definitely <laughs> just saved the world. <laughs> Um, so this goblin doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't particularly like orcs uh, for some reason. <laughs> you know, they're really big and really strong, and he's always kind of, like, held something against them. So he sees <laughs> you walk in, and he's like, so now you've saved the world? When is this story going to end? And your persuasion does not fall through. <laughs> um, <laughs> well... In that case, like if if you've come here looking for poisons, we can we can make business. What kind of poisons? Did I say poisons? I did not mean to say poisons. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking for poisons. <laughs> yeah, might have something here. Right here. Yeah. And uh, he pulls out a little. Uh, tiny little vial of black liquid with like purple shimmering flecks kind of swirling through it as he holds it up um and he says i've got this little thing i think it might be enough for two or three attacks if handled carefully may i see uh, that with 12 gold you can how much would you sell it for outright? Twelve gold. <laughs> I, I will pay his price. I will pay your terrible price. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he waits for you to set the to set the gold down. He says, oh, yes. Yes, is there anything else I can Help you out with elk. Yes, I'll be with you. <laughs> Is that a potion of healing? And I take it. I believe it to be some kind of poison. Oh, it's like a special. Effect. And instead of casting it as a ritual, I cast identify as a spell slot. And it will identify that this poison um, casts. Um, when it hits, it casts sleep. The sleep spell, and um, also plus two to the damage from the hit. The uh, two two doses. doses. 
And you cannot heal people. Oh, that's very presumptuous. I have plenty of Um, well, um, I believe the normal price for, uh, um, for potion for, and yes, a common potion, um, and not 50. cheap 50, 50, 50 and then gold. cheap is 38 and then expensive. expensive is 75. Yeah. Okay. Um, 78. <laughs> Gold pieces for a regular potion? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I've been undervaluing things. Um, let's see. I mean, here. I, I, yeah, I'm guessing that's what the book inside of the book says, too. I don't. Yeah. I mean, it, no, it literally it's... saved your life. I mean, that's pretty yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, So he will say that. Uh, for you. For you, Elf, since you saved the world and everything. I did, and I, and I <laughs> we I did. <laughs> we saved the world. <laughs> and, <laughs> um, <laughs> and you kind of get the idea. Uh, he'll say that I will sell. I will sell healing potions to you for twenty-one gold apiece. And for the orc, it's going to be 35. <laughs> if you want some, let me buy them for you. Give me the money. <laughs> <laughs> so I, uh, I get down, I, I lean under the counter, and I'm like, I'm like let, let, let me level with you, buddy. And I'm laying the, laying the charm on it. <laughs> I know you, you see, you might have a thing against orcs. But look, I'm in a band. <laughs> <laughs> and you know we could promote your potion shop yeah you know for a little better deal on these potions buddy some free advertisements huh? I'll put it in we'll shout you out at the end of our next show so <laughs> so you 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 mean to tell me that also expertise in persuasion. So. <laughs> um, roll the persuasion check. Yeah. Nineteen. So that's thirty. All right. <laughs> yeah. Um, he he takes your he takes the persuasion. He uh, he gets really excited about <laughs> the idea of free advertising. Um, and he actually looks at you kind of like you're human. I'm um, half human. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Ozarks aren't also bad. <laughs> has, a, has a little new respect for you and uh, says that for you, for you, my fellows, I think I could, I think I could drop the price to. Twelve gold apiece. <laughs> and, oh, let me see here. Let me see here. Yes, yes, I have eleven regular healing potions. Oh, I was gonna get four. So. I don't know. If anybody else? I mean, I'm guessing everybody else is gonna get them. Or is that price gonna be just for us? <laughs> I I will buy if you buy four. I'm I will I will four, buy yeah. the remainder and I will give them to the group. Okay. You buy all 11. 11 times 12 is 132. All right. It will be worth keeping my compatriots alive. Um, Wait, how much is plat platinum worth? 100 gold? I think that's how they scale. We uh, we copper is a silver, hundred silver. We gold. divvied the platinum up. Each of us got forty gold for them. No, that was uh, that was the EP. You uh, said we had forty platinum, platinum, right? Each. We each have. Oh, I guess you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, forty each. Four hundred yeah. gold. Yeah. Yeah. If that's right. the case, I can. Can I see about the price of a greater potion or two? Maybe I should have that. Forty. Well, forty times a hundred would be four thousand, right? 4,000 gold. I guess that would be. 
<laughs> really? 400, yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like we're retiring. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> well, well uh, it won't be too hard to convince people that you had enough to buy the estate. Right. Um, um, yeah, what about some graders? Yeah, how much greater potions does he have in the with him? Um, yeah, he could sell greater healing potions for... He, 90? I'll tell you, I mean, they're like 175, I think, in the, for like yeah. the, yeah, the normal price. I think that was the cheap price. I think it's 250 for normal. Um, yeah. We'll just call it 100 gold a piece, and okay. he's got 10 of them. Okay. <coughs> yeah, I'll just buy like three of them. I'll take the other seven. So, 700 from you, 300 from you. Um, and he, he thanks you thanks you for your business. It's, Wait, what's his place called? Um, his <laughs> place is called um, Krastar's Concoction. Krastar's, Krastar's Concoction. Krastar? Krastar. Krastar. Does he, does he have a motto yet? Or a, uh, you know, uh, a, a tagline? Yeah, it's fuck you, pay me. <laughs> <laughs> we might even write a song. <laughs> Fucking song sure title and a half. <laughs> fuck you, pay me. With the, fuck you, the, pay me. Uh, Dark Bros Coffee or wherever is like, fuck you, fuck you. Is Krastar spelled with a K? Yes. Okay. K-R- can, can, I just made it up, but it's K-R-A-Z-Z-T-A-R. Oh, one Z short. Also, I'm putting K for concoction. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every, both, I'm, both Cs are Ks. Um, <laughs> everyone, so... Um, you two and uh, she each receive two normal potions and... Two greater healing potions when I can see you again. Um, I saw you purchase some, so you have your own. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, I will offer to pay you the amount that you would have paid for these, the, what you are giving to me. Because I would like to use at least one of them in my own. Uh, um, for the two of them, um, give me 50 gold. Alright. <coughs> and, uh, during my time, I'd like to, yeah, use <laughs> one of the good berries and one of the healing potions and some of the spores, and I'm just trying different ways to create different healing or negative effects. No, I don't know if I can use both of those during that time to mess around with things. Um, yeah, send me send me a message on Messenger with, like, your intention okay. of doing that, because um, I won't remember by tomorrow morning, but I do want to mm-hmm. think about what could happen. Right, cool. Um, Just mess- you know, seeing what could Trying to pretty much trying to craft your own like potions or poisons yeah. using that. Okay, cool. Yep. Saying like whether or not these spores would be better at like uh, fighting different poisons within the body, or if they're more likely to create poisons within the body. Right. Yeah. Helpful good. or harmful. I like it. Well, last thing I want to do while I'm with Ethereum um, is could I have him to do inspect the dagger and also my ring? I don't think I ever had my ring like. Dagger in there. Uh, yeah. Would you mind if we, if I cast a ritual in this store? <laughs> <laughs> it would take about ten minutes. We have spent over a thousand gold. For yeah. <laughs> Can you not do the yeah. same thing in the street? I have other customers. <laughs> you got like a back alley we could. You yeah. Could do this private yeah. lady. We'd like to keep it private. I, yeah. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> use it. Thank you. I we will use the front door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, we'll go find an alley and do a back alley <laughs> ritual. He just, says, he just says, "Have a time, travelers." Have a time. Um, so I want to know what um, what T 
TJ and what Chaz, what Tyrone and what Jack um, wanted to do during this time. Because I know Tyrone was saying he was kind of following Gorzak, so I'd imagine um, because he's waiting for you to help Mm -hmm. Merle get released. Um, But uh, TJ, what what do you want to do while he's inside the shop? So we went to the shop before he went to release Merle, right? Yes. Okay. Merle said, yeah, I'm just going to like wait outside the shop and then um, when Adriana offers the potion, I ask what I can give to him for him and I guess I'm just trying to process the last few days and <laughs> already been thinking about that giant skeleton. <laughs> Pretty good guy. All right, and Jack, um, you wanted uh, to go. I would like to go to the smithy. Okay. Yes. Yes, damn smithy with that. Yeah, you old smithy. Yes, yes, and you'll <laughs> you'll find a you'll find a smithy. And you walk into this. Is this um, a Spear and, and Spear and Robot? Spear Robot and Company branded? <laughs> um, <laughs> you do see. Some branding. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you notice the Spear and Robot and Company um, <laughs> logo. Interesting. I've seen this somewhere. On the like door. The where. Um, and, uh, yeah, and you go in. Um, and you see a, a large man and uh, a large human man with uh, short hair. And as he's polishing um, one of his blades, he hears the door and looks up at you and says, Oh, yes. Yes. Good, good day, sir. How, uh, just Hi, how sir, can I I'm help Jack you? Jack. Oh, I like I like your energy, sir. Uh, how? In, uh, Absolutely, I'm gonna go a big old like hand, but I want to be like, haha, forearm grab. Um, let me roll a d20. He's gonna give you a handshake back. Um, <laughs> he does one damage to you as he clamps down on your hand way too excitedly. Mm. I rolled a 19. Um, <laughs> you clench back. Yeah, he, he rolled a 20. <laughs> <laughs> um, you both just like grimacing at each other, like. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say to him? Obviously, I chose the right method. Yes. <laughs> um, and he says, and, "What?" And then I have to ask him. In addition to what I came here for, would you mind re- re- repairing my gauntlet that you just crushed? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ter- terribly, terribly sorry, sir. Terribly sorry. I, I don't get many new customers around here. It's usually the same rabble. <laughs> ah, yes, the, the rabble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the rabble. You look like an astute fellow. So what can I do for you? Well, I'm a hero in these parts. Is what I <laughs> and what I am. I'm Jack Jackleton, as you know, um, from a few minutes ago. Oh, yeah. So I, 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 I kind of <laughs> I show him those um, 